Imagine this, you are breathtaking scene spot, holding your phone and you wish you could get instant insights about the plants around you or record the movement in an intelligent way that makes it more than just a photo or a video. Now imagine you are in a kitchen looking at your induction cooktop and wondering is it just energy efficient or can I automate this to switch off at the perfect time? Your phone could answer that instantly or picture yourself redesigning your living room or point your phone at a wall and it suggests the type of art, wallpaper or paint would match your furniture. Even better, what if you are setting up a recording room? You could simply show your phone the space and it tells you exactly where to place your lights, how to reduce echoes and where to set up your mic for the best audio quality. And here's one magic. You know, imagine looking at someone through your phone camera and it recognizes their expression, happy, sad or neutral or even tracks their hand gesture like a wave or thumbs up. What if I told you there is a tool that can do this all, a tool that make your phone camera and microphone to the next level, exactly, making your device not just smart, but AI powered, you know, smart. Hi, I am Anj from Noha Academy. In this video, we will see what is Google AI Studio, why is Google AI Studio is so useful, and we will also see how we set up Google AI Studio on your phone and also see the demonstrating prompts with the camera for the visualization. And at the end, we're going to talk about Project Astra. So what is basically Google AI Studio is? Welcome to Google AI Studio, your gateway to creating, exploring and interacting with AI in a way you never thought possible. Thinking of it as the ultimate playground where you can teach your phone to recognize objects, analyze emotions and even respond to your you know, voice commands. Imagine using your phone to detect the mood of a group selfie or figure out what that rare flower in your garden is on that spot. Google AI Studio turned these futuristic dreams into reality. And here's the best part. It's not just easy for AI experts, whether you are a student, a content creator or someone curious about AI, Google AI Studio opened the door for endless possibilities for you. I hope you get idea basically what is Google AI Studio. Now let's see why it's so useful for these days. Okay, the question is, why should you care about it? And why is Google Studio so useful? Because Google AI Studio is not just another app. It's like putting the power of cutting edge AI right into your hands. Let me break it down for you. First is create interactive content that wows your audience. Exactly. Imagine creating videos or live streams where your phones can recognize objects, track movements or even add real time effects based on what it sees or hear. For instance, a content creator could use it to track their gesture and overall dynamic animation during a video. A teacher could use it through an online class to demonstrate how AI can identify objects or analyze emotions in real time, turning a simple lesson in an unforgettable experience. Your audience won't just watch, they will engage, amazed at the tech you are showcasing. Second is learn and experiment with AI models in real time. Ever wonder how AI works? Google AI Studio make it easy to experiment with complex AI models without needing a PhD in computer science. Want to understand how voice to text transcription works? Speak into your phone and watch as it transform your words into text in real time. Curious about image recognition? Test it by pointing your camera at everyday objects or scenes and let the AI break it down for you. It's like having a personal AI lab where you are in control, learning and innovating as you go. Third is solve real world problems. This is where Google AI Studio truly shines. It's not just a fun, it's here to make life easier for you. First is accessibility helps someone with visual impairments by identifying objects or reading over text into their surroundings. Efficiency, use it to scan your kitchen and get suggestion for organizing items and where to place it. 
productivity point it at a clustered desk and it can categorize items or even recommend the best lighting for video calls you know it's so interesting with google ai studio you are not just using your phone you're transforming it into a powerful ai assistant capable of tackling challenges you face every day in your everyday life so as we discuss why it's so useful now let's set up it on our phone first you need to go to the your google chrome and just type google uh google ai studio and once you open there should be a link of google ai studio just open it and in the top left corner there should be three lines and go to stream real time where you going to show them and going to talk to the ai and open camera from here facing back environment and your audio is going to open so it will show it properly hey how are you i'm doing well thank you for asking how are you doing today i'm fine can you tell me what is this plant and some quick facts about it certainly the plant in the image appears to be a pothos also known as devil's ivy Some facts about it are that it's a very common house plant that is easy to care for. It can grow quite long and can be toxic to pets if ingested. Can you tell me what is this used for? You're can asking what is the use of the plant or the bottle that it's planted in? Yes. Can you please tell me? Okay. The pothos plant is primarily used for decorative purposes. It's a popular house plant because of its trailing vines and ability to purify air. The bottle it is in acts as a unique planter and allows it to be displayed in a decorative way. Hey, can you analyze the induction cooktop and tell me if it's energy efficient? Certainly, I can analyze that for you. The induction cooktop in the image is a Black Prestige PIC 16.0 plus model. The unit has a power saver technology that is advertised, which suggests that it should be energy efficient. Would you like me to analyze anything else regarding the device? Uh I want to know that at what temperature should I boil the water in it? Okay, I can help with that. Looking at the control panel, you can use the 100 to 120 degree settings to boil water. Do you have any other questions regarding the device? Uh I'm doing this step by step, so should you please guide me? So I just place the pan over here and I'm going to pour the water in it. Is it like this? And the next step you want help with. And I'm going to turn on the uh, induction and now tell me at what temperature should I set in and like at which uh, button should I click on it? I understand you want to know what temperature to set the induction cooktop to now that you've turned it on. Since you're trying to boil water, I would still recommend starting at the 100 to 120 degree settings as we discussed before. Would you like me to clarify anything else? So should I click on uh, heat milk or keep warm? Based on the video, it looks like you are choosing Yes, I'm clicking on keep warm. Is it fine now? Okay. You have pressed the keep warm button and the temperature is set to 120, which you have indicated is fine. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Hey, what kind of art or wallpaper would match this wall? Can you tell me? Sure. The wallpaper you currently have seems to have a horizontal line pattern on it. Considering that, I think something with a geometric pattern would match this wall. Do you think any changes needed? If so, what changes would you suggest me? Yeah, please just provide me some suggestion, please. Okay. I see a stack of books on the left. You might try moving some of them to the right side to balance out the visual weight of the items. Also, you might want to place the small orange pineapple figure more towards the center of the shelf. Would that work for you? Yeah, thank you. Can you tell me what is this? set up in the corner. There is also a light in the right corner. Is there anything else that you would like to know about the image? How can I set up this room for the best recording quality? Can you please tell me? The setup of this room appears to be for video recording and editing. There's a green screen, desk with computer, camera, and a light. Would you like to know about any specific item? No, is it look perfect? Okay, I understand. 
there's something specific you would like to discuss regarding the image? Hey, can you tell me what is this person uh, emotions is expressing? Okay, the person in the video appears to be expressing a friendly emotion. They are waving and smiling. Would you like me to analyze anything else in the video? Can you tell me the hand gesture of this girl? Sure, the girl has her hands open with her fingers spread. She appears to be gesturing with open hands facing outward. Is there anything else you'd like to know about her gesture? With just these prompts, you can see how versatile and powerful AI Google AI Studio basically is. Before we wrap up, here's something even more exciting for you. Project Astra. This initiative by Google take AI exploring a step further, opening doors for developers and creators to collaborate and build groundbreaking applications. So whether you are just starting with AI or looking to create something remarkable, Google AI Studio and initiatives like Project Astra make it all possible. Try it out today and let your phone do more than just call, text or browse. It's time to create with AI. Let's see what we have covered in this video. We have seen what is Google AI Studio is. We also see why is Google AI Studio so useful. And we also set up Google AI Studio for our phone. And we also demonstrate prompts with our camera. And at last, we discuss about what Project Astra is. Thank you for choosing Noho Academy as a source of IT knowledge. We always here to help you and navigate you to the tech world.